All right, Foxy Gardens on the job again. Here we are at a house on an undisclosed street, which is actually Scrimger, but uh, in Cambridge. And the task is to mow the lawn, don't run over the tulips. So she mentioned that the lawn was a bit woolly, wild and woolly, and it is. And of, of course, the day that I'm gonna come and mow this wild woolly lawn, uh, it happened to rain and then it stopped and then it's rained again and raining again. And so uh, looking back there, I can kind of see that the grass is about a foot tall. And so the work is cut out for us today to see if the mower can handle it. And then I'm seeing over here, this looks like, I guess it's her property uh, up to a point. No, I guess this whole thing is her thing. This whole woolly, like kind of, uh, you know, I thought this would take like a few minutes or, but it's gonna take a few, more than a few minutes just to get through this, to, for the lawnmower to chew, chew its way through this without, you know, stalling. And do you have any commentary, Bob, or no? Well, it looks like she hasn't had it cut in a long time and yeah. we'll, we'll cut it in little pieces so we don't yeah. clog up the, the lawnmower too much. Yeah, I don't bite and off we'll, too much. Yeah, we'll, I don't think we'll be raking the lawn, the pieces up, so we might have to go over it a couple of times to kind of mulch it in. Call them, that's right, mulch it in. We'll start with the front again. All right, and I've not been warned about any kind of vicious pit bulls or anything. I thought I heard like a little yapping creature over there, but I'm not gonna think about it too much, so off we go. Okay, so the front yard is coming along. A lot of Weed whacking going on. The lawnmower has been very good. It's quite messy, but it made it through. I think I hear some thunder, not sure. But, or a bus, whatever that is. Anyway, so moving on to the back, we'll have to clean up this a bit uh, later, this mess. And yeah, let's go. So now we're in the backyard and this ought to be good because it's raining and it's wet and the grass is like a foot high. So good luck lawnmower. I hope you can do it. I'll try to use my, well, I just, there's a post on the blog about whether it's good to mow in the rain. There's pros and cons, but generally if it's raining too hard, obviously it's not the best idea. It's also my phone's getting wet. So risking it for the biscuit. Um, and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully get through it without too much hassle, but it could be a hassle. We will see momentarily. All right. So it's a literal, literal war back here. Um, the grass is like literally a foot high. The mower is admirably attempting to like chew through it, it ran out of gas. As, and it's like real slog. I mean, some people probably uh, like mowing in the rain, but I can't say it's the most fun because it's just like the poor mower can't walk, can't like can barely do anything. So this is quite the adventure. We'll see if we make it through. So the one thing she told me not to do is to run, run over these, not to run over these tulips. And here they are. And here I am not running them over, but. Okie dokie. But yeah, in this kind of weather, where it's like, I can barely see, and I can barely push this thing. I'm a little discombobulated, I must admit, but not to the point where I don't notice these beautiful tulips, and I would never run them over. But it's, you gotta be very careful or else you never know what one second, you just look up for one second and boom, you hit those tulips, they're gone. But they're still looking good. And while I'm over here, just another point, this is, I'm getting into the, the back nine of this, was well, actually like closer to the front, but this is like the ultimate challenge right here. If I can, if this mower gets through this, this Craftsman, which gotta give it props, it's, uh, it's made it this far. The only thing that slows it down is lack of gas, which again, makes me a fan of gas because if this thing just had a battery, I'm sure the battery would probably just melt. But, uh, you know, good old gasoline getting us through here. And, you know, like, 
So this is a pretty big challenge because I don't know if you can tell this is, this grass is like a foot tall, especially over there. And so yeah, the tulips survived, made it around the, the, the raised flower beds. The whippersnipper's still going, I guess. The battery one. It's still going. Yeah, we're running out of cord and we, we, we didn't bring any We energy. forgot the extra, but this thing's still going. Oh yeah, it, and I don't know how long I got an extra battery though. But do you have more cord in this thing or is it? Uh, I don't know if I bought an extra cord. Because we're kind of like only, uh, uses the cord up when you hit rocks. Right, so it's like if you be careful, you can conserve cord. Right. So there's a lot of strategies at play here. The rain being the main deciding factor. Like it was raining harder. Actually, like the raindrops were like sizable. I could see these white kind of like orbs falling down. I'm like, okay, the rain's getting ridiculous now. It's like I didn't bring a hat. I like you know. I'm not protected, well, I have the sweater on, but uh, anyway, so I think we're doing pretty admirably. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm gonna jump into the final stretch here and see what happens. Wasn't even filming, okay. So we're at the, the finale here. If we can just get through this. This is kind of it. We've been trying to clean up as we go along because you know, like this, this just doing this and not like, you know, kind of sweeping and raking and whatever, like then uh, if you don't do that, it's like, it's just a crazy mess. So he's gonna give it a try. There's a technique to this. It's like slowly kind of like, eat away at it. the shoulder. Yeah. It's like a, you know, the trials of Hercules, basically. So, I don't know. It's going for it. The rain is soaking my phone. survive this for the reasonable rate that we charge most people would uh probably wait till tomorrow to do this not us my shoes are completely gunked up probably shouldn't wear shoes Okay, well the job is complete, took longer than I thought, but should have known because it was raining and this grass hadn't been cut since probably last year. Although did we miss a spot here? It looks like we might have missed a spot. I'll have to get that. You always miss a spot, you know, but generally speaking, we survived it. And I'll just do a little walk through the backyard. We had to like um, kind of get rid of stuff like this. Get it out of the way. Um, she said there was a problem with the gate, but there's really no problem. It's just like a double gate that kind of opens out. No big deal. Yeah, there's just like this sort of grass gunk everywhere, but we we kind of blew, blew it every, like as well as we could. There's, if it was dry, we could like, you know, thoroughly blow this stuff away, but it sort of like needs to dry. And we kind of like really had a battle back here. This was like a, this battle of Stalingrad almost back here, not to make any undue comparisons, but it was pretty uh, epic battle here. The grass was like two feet high if it was a, if it was an inch and we basically mowed it in the wrong weather, I guess. like. I would say though, because we have a mulching mo Ooh. almost fell into a like a little pit here, tripped and broke my ankle almost. Uh, risking it all, uh, yeah. Like we're not. I'm not out of here yet, but basically, um, the mulching mower, uh, you know, it deals with everything underneath the mower, so it's not shooting anything anywhere. 
and it basically like chews everything up and just like if it if it's too long it just chokes right because there's just too much for the blades to handle but the blades are pretty pretty powerful i guess for like a pushing push mower and uh you know this is like i guess some people might argue like bring a like a what do you call it you know riding mower here but it's too small like <clears throat> i don't have a riding mower uh it would just seem to be like a bit too much to bring a riding mower back here but i mean if i had one that was my favorite i might just come back here and rip through here and like a few minutes versus what I did. I, there just doesn't seem to, not, seem to be enough room to like ride a mower back here, but plus you gotta do some detail work, right? So it's almost more, uh, quote, enjoyable to do it with the uh, the push mower because you can kind of just like get into the nooks and crannies versus just like ride through here at like, you know, six kilometers an hour, just like, I guess you could do both, but uh, it sort of would be a little awkward getting it back here maybe. And anyway, so we've cleaned everything up. The mower needs some attention. Uh, everything needs attention. Like the, we gotta figure out why the, the thread ran out or if it like got caught in thing. Okay, one more look at the yard and that's it. 